Hi there, it's Kathy Howes with Be Creative with Kathy. And um, in this video, I'm finishing up my on-stage swaps, and so I just wanted to share with you little tips on how I made this swap here. So I have most of the stamping done. Like I said, I'm just finishing up. I think I need four more, but whatever. So I only have a few more steps to do, but I thought I would share with you what I'm making. Um, so what I did was I started, this is a piece of very burst cardstock. It's a half a sheet, eight and a half by five and a half. I mean, if you're a stamper, you know the drill. Scored at four and a fourth, and I cut it out, and now I have my card base here, right? And then from that delightful, eclectic designer series paper, and I showed you that on another swap, So, but you can find it on my online store. All the measurements and some ply lists are um, on a link. Well, if you're on <laughs> YouTube, they're on a link below, but otherwise you'd have to go to YouTube, be created with Kathy dot. No, that's YouTube, be created with Kathy. At you be, you, let me start over. At be created with Kathy dot com, you can find all the measurements and a supply list. That's the best place to go. <laughs> just go there. Um, but these two pieces here are just the front and the back, and that's what we're going to use. And these, I believe, are four inches. Let me measure four inches by two and three fourths and it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to cut the four inch counts but this part doesn't so we're going to take that stripe or what i call the bottom and with my tape runner here i'm going to just put a little bit of tape on the back and line this up on the bottom of that card base that we just folded in half so it looks like that then on the top i'm going to take this piece and now put my tape on the stripe side so then we have the two different pieces on there, or patterns I mean on there, and line it up just like that. I'm going to try to get those patterns straight. Now we're going to put that ribbon in between so they don't have to be too straight. That ribbon can um, correct any imperfections you have right here. So then with the pencil, because now I want to figure out where to put my ribbon. So then with just a pencil, I'm going to put a line where those two pattern papers meet just to the side and this is so when you line it up with your punch now this is the I think it's called the best trio punch it's one of my favorite punches just because it has this little notch right here but I'm going to put my card in here now I've turned my punch upside down and hopefully you can see that there's like this dividing line right here which helps us out a lot I might get my head in the camera after forgive me but I'm going to put my paper in there so I just barely see the very burst cardstock in there and line it up with that line as best I can and see how you can just barely see it. I'm going to just punch that little tiny bit. So see, I only punched out about this much. I don't know if you can even see it of cardstock from my card. But then when you open the card, it has that little gap there. See where now you can put your ribbon through there. So I'm going to put just a little bit of um, tape runner. And I can put it here in the middle because we have a white piece that's going to cover that up. And I'm going to use this garden green ribbon. Now this used to be <laughs> a double pack of real red and garden green, but I used all the real red up at Christmas. So it's kind of nice that I have this garden green that works perfect that I can use on my swaps. And I'm going to just thread that through the hole, making sure that it's flat in here. And lay that down across that where those two pattern paper meet like that. And then bring this piece across. And it doesn't have to look pretty here because like I said, this is where um, that white layer on the top will cover this up. So there we go, it looks like that. Right, now look how cute we have. I don't know, this reminds me of the dining room in an old house that had that wallpaper that was a two different with the wood border in between, but I think it's beautiful. So the other thing, oh, did I tell you? I probably didn't share anything with you. I called it the Pedal Park because um, I used this Pedal Park swap, sorry, because I used this and this with some garden green ink, and I've done this in advance, right? And I stamped it onto a white piece of paper that fits perfectly on these radiating dies. So this large stitch right here, and it's not called that, it's called, yep, radiating stitch dies on this medium rectangle here, and then it fits perfect like that. And then I did use this little Hello Butterfly stamp, this little Hello right here, with just some Memento black ink, and I stamped that down right there. So that's what I have done for this part here, all right? So now let's just, I'm gonna go ahead and just put that on the front of my card 
with dimensionals. Like I said, I've already done most of the work, but I wanted to show you, especially how I got the notch in my card to put that ribbon through. Keep those backs off. And I like to put five dimensionals just so the center, or I call it the tummy, of my cardstock doesn't sag here. And I'm gonna, does that look pretty good? Look pretty centered right there? Whoop, now let's try to get it straight and centered. <laughs> now he's crooked that way. Oh my, okay. There we go. Now it looks pretty good just like that, yeah? So let's go ahead, oh, and then the center on the inside, when this, um, stamp set or bundles came out there was a, a what they call a mega bundle and so it was two stamp sets one is a stamp set and a punch that i'll show you in a second the other one is the sentimental part that comes with these dies right and i use this stamp and this on the inside right here the same with that berry burst and the petal note bubble bath and then the dies i'll be honest with you i haven't used the dies as much as i thought but what i do use is these little tiny flower dies and let me show you something i made now if you're glinda or if you're leanne and you don't want to see your roommate gifts be sure and look away because i made little name tags look how cute can you see that with the g i did it in a little bit of a gold foil with some designer series paper but here are those little flowers that's from that die set so i love cutting those and then yeah i love cutting those little feller flowers out and using those on projects like that so there you go that's and then this is leanne's so i want leanne to feel left out but that's what i made for roommate gifts and i put them in a little bag and added candy and other stuff in there to make their little roommate gifts fun but like i said i love using that die set for the little flowers and the extra stuff that comes with it okay so let's go ahead and just put that and this is just basic white five and a fourth by four that i'm going to set on the inside there now let's make those flowers that go on the front so using that um petal park i'm going to use these two stamps here it's two step stamping so i'm going to do my darker color first which is that berry burst the same color as our card base and look how I love these stamps because they're all stained. And let me get my pierce mat out too. So I get a nice image, especially with the bubble bath because that's a nice solid um, stamp. So I know that with my punch, when my paper goes into my punch, I want the two bigger flowers to be toward at the bottom kind of level. So that's how I'm going to make sure I'm going to turn it over and make sure. And since I have three cards here to finish, I'm going to go ahead and make three sets of flowers. So I'm going to stamp one here, and all I'm doing is holding it down, letting that ink sink in, so I get a really nice image. And then I'm going to set one over here, and then, since I'm stamping, I'm going to go ahead and put the third one over here. There we go. And then bring in that bubble bath ink, because that's what we're going to light it up. And again, now I know that I have those two bigger flowers at the bottom, it'd be even easier to line up. But if you kind of come in and you hover, you got that darker color underneath, it's kind it's, it's pretty easy to line up. So I'm gonna let that ink sink in and get a good image there. Yeah, look how pretty that is. I think it's very soft, but it's it's pretty. I use these flowers a lot to decorate stuff too. These are just a little bit bigger than the ones that come with that die set that I used on Leanne and Glinda's name tags for their bag. I'm getting excited. I should have done my video this afternoon, but I went ahead and went to work. <laughs> it's because Wednesday, uh, when I usually work, I won't be here. I'm going to be on my way to Texas for Stampin' Ups on stage, which is very exciting. Okay, so now we're going to just take our punch here and line it up. And I won't make you watch me punch all three of them out. I'll just punch out one, finish the card, and then I'll finish up the other three, two. Sorry, I can't do two things at once after we sign off. So now there's our little flowers. Oh, and I turned them all over. I shouldn't have because I'm going to just put a dimensional here on the back of each one. Take those dimensional backs off. So I only put, you notice I didn't put anything on the inside. I only put hello on the front. I'm interested 
because I think you could send hello and then on the inside write happy birthday. You could say hello, hope you're feeling better. There's all kinds of stuff, but what would you use a hello card for? And there I just threw those three little flowers right there. Look how cute that is. And then last of all, we need some bling. And these um, iridescent rhinestones come in three different sizes for three different flowers, which is absolutely perfect. Get my take your pick tool here. Get that largest of those rhinestones. Whoops. Don't sit upside down. Set it the right side up. And then a medium one right here on the medium flower. I mean, doesn't it just scream? Put these rhinestones on these flowers and look how cute that is. Then, like I said, I would take for my swap, I lost it here, I would take one of our clear envelopes, put my little swap in there now that it's all done, take my business card so they know who made it, like this, and set that in there, and then fold the top down here so they have a nice, and then they could reuse the envelope. I didn't take the adhesive back off, so it's still the envelope will still be used. And then with all of my swaps, I went ahead and printed out. Now this is what you can find on my blog, BeCreativeWithKathy.com. So I took this, it has all the measurements on there. It has all the, um, or the recipe, all the supplies I used. And I'll just take that, fold it into a quarter. It's, oh, and look, it opened already. Good deal. Thank you. And then with my name showing up here at the top, I'll put it like this. Now, when I say with all my swaps, that's not necessary with all of my swaps. That's with all of my um, organized swaps. With my general swaps, I usually just put my business card in there. But there you go. So there they are. And I have my whole bag full, almost ready. I just need to put a few more in there. And... Um, and we'll see if they enjoy my cards. Again, let me know what you would send a hello card for. And just to tell you, normally I am here Monday about 1.30 in the afternoon. So next Monday, I'll just get be getting back. And I'll take all my swaps that I received after I passed all mine out. And I'll share them next Monday here at 1.30. So I hope you can come and join me. Alrighty, thanks for watching. And I'll see you later next time. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>